What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for the NES? Hey, nerdlings. Cam Nelder here, and you're watching everybody's favorite couple on YouTube, Do You Nerd? Why, yes! Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, Megadan tossed a question out to the community. What are some games that you grew up with, specifically for the NES? So let's keep the focus right on that. I've already been seeing some fun community video responses. So please get out there, check those out. A link to Megadan's video will be in the description. And let's get right into this. This is an open tag to everybody. I would love to see your collections. We didn't have a whole lot of games in our household. It was more of a family console. Uh, I had a stepbrother and a stepsister and, you know, different tastes. Some people like certain games better, other people not so much. So uh, there's a little bit of variety there, but not a huge library overall. Our household was kind of the same way. Um, apparently, I didn't have as many memories as I thought I did with the NES because anytime I would mention a game, he would say, Genesis. Duh. Genesis. Duh. Genesis. Duh. So I was like, well, apparently I don't remember the NES. You can't do this on Nintendo. And ours is the same thing. Family console. And my parents mostly got it for us because we were moving out of state and we weren't going to have any friends. So they wanted to make sure we had something a little bit more fun to play than the Atari because that's all we had. <laughs> <laughs> you have 8-bit friends now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, jumping right into the games. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, come on. Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt. Who didn't have this game? Although yours was a little different. I didn't have that game because I had the three pack. <laughs> <laughs> we had that special bundle that came with the pad and the, the three games and the shooter. But I had no idea until I met this guy that the orange zapper wasn't the first zapper. I thought that was the one and only zapper. I didn't know there was a gray one until I met you. <laughs> you also have a pro tip for the uh, world-class track I meet. I do. Using the power pad. Don't use your feet and legs. That's stupid. You get down on your hands and knees and you use your hands. And then when you jump and then you land. Yeah, much easier. <laughs> well, real quick, just as we're talking about Super Mario Brothers, it was actually much, much later that we finally got in our household Super Mario Brothers 2 and Super Mario Brothers 3. Curiously enough, we actually got Mario 3 first. <laughs> that is kind of funny. <laughs> that game, of course, blew my socks off. You know, I. I remember being a kid wondering why this Mario didn't look like this Mario. I was like, uh, why is this one so much better? <laughs> Mario 2, this is my favorite NES Mario game. There was something so fascinating about it. The first time I saw it at some kid's house, but I was blown away. It was so colorful. There were these green hills and waterfalls and Mario's picking up vegetables and throwing it at things, but he's not stomping on people. And <laughs> you can be Luigi or the princess. And it's like, I don't know what's going on. But for the longest time, I was obsessed with playing this game. When I finally got it, fell in love with it. See, now we never owned either of those two, but I would rent Super Mario Brothers 2 a lot. And I only ever have a very little bit of experience as a child with three because a friend had it. So we kind of played it a little bit there, but I loved Super Mario Brothers 2. It was the first time I got to play as Princess Peach. There weren't that many female characters. So the fact that I got to play as a female character was really cool to me. And I love the music. And I don't know if it's kind of sadistic or not, but I liked picking up the little bad guys and watching their little feet wiggle when you hold them in the air. Like I never tried to hurt them. I just like watching their little feet like kick well, in the air. <laughs> suffer little guys. <laughs> suffering. <laughs> they were tired of walking, so I picked him up. Well, one of the next games for me, this was one, uh, one of the very, very few games, I think one of two, <laughs> that me and my stepbrother would actually play together. 
that was the original Contra. When we played it, we definitely used the Konami code because we were not very good as a team. You get to those vertical stages where you can start jumping up the waterfall, and if the other guy's not fast enough, yeah, he's dead. Forget <laughs> it. Sorry, buddy. For me, though, one of the ones that we had was Bayou Billy. Now, this was my dad's game. Not mine, if you could tell by the half-naked chick on the cover. There's no way <laughs> that my parents would have bought that for us kids. I picked, played Bayou Billy when Dad realized it wasn't as raunchy as the cover makes it out to seem. <laughs> but I didn't really actually play it like you were supposed to. I pretended I was Crocodile Dundee. Oh, there you go. So, <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say that they hate this game. It's hard. They didn't like it. I have fond memories of the game because I just pretended I was running around the bayou with uh but I, it wasn't the bayou, it was the outback is what I pretended it was. So that's hey, my memories of this game. Do you remember that title screen? <laughs> the talking was horrible with these games. <laughs> the Adventures of Bio Billy. And here is the other game that my stepbrother and I would play all the time, Tiger Heli. He was obsessed with anything to do with, uh, with the military and helicopters especially. So this was a game 100% bought for him, but I would try to play it sometimes. I never really cared for this one as a shooter. I love shooters, you know, whether top down, side scrolling, but I never really got into Tiger Heli. It was a little rough around the edges for me. However, the shooter that I did like was Gradius. So uh, between you and I, we're seeing a lot of Konami love here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but oh man. What a great shooter. The power-up system is so much fun to utilize. It's like, what do you do? Do you, do you save that for your shields? Do you go ahead and grab that other option right now? But fast, frantic action in space, tons of fun. And in my opinion, sorry, a little better than Tiger Heli. <laughs> well, for me, a game that I actually did love and play but never beat when I was a kid was The Little Mermaid. Now this was my very own game. Nobody else's game. It was actually bought for me on my birthday. So that made the game all the more special. I was obsessed with the movie, loved the movie. I mean, come on, redheads, hello. But uh, Captain Algebra actually is the one who inspired me to go ahead and beat this game. And I did beat it, but I was an adult and realized that I was literally at the end. I think I was one frame away from the very end and beating it. So I feel kind of foolish. <laughs> Unfortunately, a game that I didn't really care for, uh, Casino Kid. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure why we even had this game. Maybe my stepmother got it for the gambling aspect, just the fun of being in a casino. The problem is you can play poker and blackjack, and that's it. You can't play the roulette tables or the slot machines or the craps tables or anything else. Only poker only blackjack, and only in a specific order. For instance, if you talk to this guy, you can't play him yet because you have to go play and beat somebody else first. So there is a progression system to it, but it's just not a very good casino game, in my opinion. One of the games that I absolutely loved playing, but was terrible at, and it was super hard, was Paperboy. This was a game that we rented a lot. We didn't ever buy it. Uh, my parents thought it was stupid to buy games because I guess our attention spans weren't that long <laughs> with games. So we rented most of our NES games and this was one that we rented. Like I said, horrible at it. I, I spent more time seeing how many windows I could break than actually delivering <laughs> the mail because it was just too hard. Speaking of tough games, how about the game that got me into RPGs, Dragon Warrior. First of all, Many, many households had this game because this game they gave away free with a subscription to Nintendo Power. The thing came packaged with a, an explorer's handbook that taught you how to get through the majority of the game. It gave you a level up card to tell you exactly where you needed to be, you know, certain levels. Because basically back then we were still pretty new in America to the role playing game genre and we didn't quite understand how it all worked. So they tried to give us all the help we needed. And with Dragon Warrior, you need that. And buckets of patience because <laughs> you were going to be spending a lot of time leveling up. Another game we rented was Zelda because it had a really pretty cartridge. Know nothing about the game, but I was like, ooh, shiny gold. 
took it home, tried playing it. I think I only rented it once. Tried playing it for the whole time we had it for the weekend or whatever. I'm sorry to say, I didn't like it. I, and it actually gave me a very, very sour taste in my mouth for Zelda games until I met you. I didn't like it. I couldn't under, there was no story. I didn't know what I was doing. It didn't make any sense to me. So for the, my entire life, I was just like, Zelda's games are stupid. I didn't even try any of the other ones. But I met you and you changed my mind and made me realize, <laughs> no, Zelda games are cool. It's just, this one is just harder to figure out the story. And <laughs> <laughs> I think you get like one frame of story and then it's just uh, mostly wandering. Yeah. Another game that I rented based on the cover art and the back of the box was Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest because it sounded really cool and there was you know you get to be a castle and you're fighting vampires and all kinds of cool stuff and I got it and I was like this is not like what the pictures show <laughs> this was not what the pictures on the box told me it was going to be so this was a game that I probably only rented once or twice yeah, speaking of wandering aimlessly that's that's <laughs> another one we did have a puzzle game in our house Tetris because millions of people had Tetris. I actually had a lot of fun with Tetris. Even as a kid, I didn't really seek out a lot of other puzzle games or anything, but I don't know, there was always something special about Tetris. Except you're not really a Tetris girl, are you? Nope. I'm a Dr. Mario girl. Oh, the Clash of the Titans. Grr, this was a much better game and had much better music. <laughs> I loved Dr. Mario. Like I said, I loved the music. You get stuck in your head, especially when it starts getting faster and faster, you know? So I think this was a little bit more challenging than trying to get all of those shapes to fit together. You've just got two colors that you're trying to match up and match up quick. So it's a better game. It's a better game than yours. <laughs> For me, getting into the dregs now. Uh oh. I have to say, sorry, Cap. I know how much you love Back to the Future, and a lot of people have grown to like this game uh, for its basically being a shooter game, a very different style. I have never, ever, ever liked Back to the Future, and it had nothing to do with the angry video game nerd. This game got all of my hate directly from me. Well, Look, considering you played it before he made a big deal about when it. When <laughs> I was a kid... I didn't have super big expectations of certain games on NES. I, I understood there were limitations, but to me, this was not a Back to the Future experience. I don't care all of the arguments that can be made of how it's just like the movie because of this location and that location and this element. There are just as many elements that make this not like the movie as there are that make it like the movie. So I'm simply on the other side of the fence. I will forever and ever hate and despise this game. Why do you have to hurt me, Tom? When we first started dating, you, t I guess, tested the theory of whether it was a good game or not because you didn't tell me a thing about it and you popped it into the machine and you let me try it out and play it. You didn't talk while I played it. I played a few levels and I remember turning it off and, and told you, what the hell was that? Because I don't remember anything about clocks and bees and and you know running into glass and stuff like that and it's one of those things that it's like well you could try to argue and say well you had to have obstacles but i feel like there was plenty of obstacles you could have taken directly from the movie to throw at marty than coming up with some of the weird obstacles that they came up with in that game it's just not a good game and it has nothing to do like you said with the nerd because you played that back before the nerd so <laughs> <laughs> All right, I believe you have one more. I have one left. Now, we did own this game because I was obsessed with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So my parents got this for me because I liked the, the TV show and the movies. I don't know why we started with three unless they just saw a Turtles game and just got it. But yeah, Turtles 3, Manhattan Project. Loved this game. So much fun. It always annoyed me, though, when your favorite turtle would get knocked out and you had to wait for him to, you know, come back. Aww. But I do remember... Fun things like there was like a surfboard level where you would jump from surfboard to surfboard, beach levels, and, uh, you know, trying to save April at the end of the game. I don't think I ever beat this one either, though. Oh, Cap's going to tell you to get on it now. I know, he's going to yell at me. All right, well, one last game that I had growing up with, and this is another one that I absolutely despised and always will. Again, sorry, Cap, but it is. <laughs> 
Friday the 13th. As a kid, I was a horror buff. Friday the 13th movies were some of my favorite. Jason was a bit of an anti-hero to me. <laughs> he was great, but this game was not. Just like Back to the Future, look, as many things that you could argue are like the films, there are just as many, if not more, that are unlike the films. On the cover of this game, you see Jason from part seven, might I add. So that means when they made this game, they had seven films to draw <laughs> inspiration from, and there is not much inspiration to this game. <laughs> the funny thing is about this game though, I'm with you, I don't like the game either, but I love 8-Bit Jason. 8-Bit Jason, there's something special about him. So maybe, Maybe I dislike Back to the Future just a little bit more than Friday the 13th. I think it's his color scheme. I think that's why I grew to love him so much. <laughs> now, in closing, where I lived, we really didn't get a chance to rent very many games. There were a couple of times when we would rent one. Uh, so I think like a championship bowling. I think we might have owned a game called Pinbot. We only owned that because my dad loved the actual Pinbot pinball machine but he didn't like the game because it was nothing like <laughs> the machine <laughs> however uh this is pretty much what i grew up with these games right here to be honest there are a lot of games here that i'm very surprised i got into video games at all because i did <laughs> not like a lot of these i was awful at dragon warrior as a child i was a little too young to really grasp what was going on Things like Friday the 13th and Back to the Future, to me, were clickbait. Tiger Heli, eh, if you like it, great. It's not the strongest shooter that the NES has. And I didn't have any of those staples. We actually didn't own Castlevania. I didn't play Castlevania or Mega Man games until I was an adult. We didn't own Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. The things that you really think of Nintendo for, we didn't have those games. <laughs> we had the stuff. Like I said, I was the opposite. My parents didn't buy us the games because they were expensive and they knew that our attention span wouldn't last. So they had no problem with us renting things. And I'm one of those people that if the cover catches my eye of a movie, a comic book, a video game, doesn't matter, I'll check it out. Whether or not I like it or not is a different story. So I rented a lot of games that, you know, were not what the picture showed them to be. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were all sucked into that one. Uh-huh. It's so bad. So I've, I owned very few games, but rented more, so. Well, Nerdlings, at this point, we invite you, please leave some comments down below. Talk about any of the games in our collection, or better yet, share with us the games that you grew up with in your NES collection when you were a child. Or if you want to do a video response, we'd love to see it. So once you've done it, share that link in the comments down below. And one last time, go check out Mega Dan's video. Let them know we sent you there. The guy's a beast with the game, so stick around and see what he takes down next. <laughs> Don't forgive the video a like, uh, notification bell, subscribe. Please do all of that stuff for us. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit us up on TeePublic. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it... We nerd it. Just not for some of Cap's favorite games. I love the LJN Rainbow. Yeah, me too. We're the new Mega Powers. Cap and cap. Boom. Bye, guys. Well, I guess I don't need this shirt anymore. No. Care to repeat that? <laughs> Paul, get in your filming spot. Toby, get in your filming spot. Tom, get in your filming spot. Why, yes! Of course we do. A little bit. Did I throw you off with that? A little bit! <laughs> Alright. Start it from there, Tom, because then put Mega Dan's video, clip it in. Do it. <laughs> I don't want to be a casino kid, if that's the <laughs> casino you're in. <laughs> Except... You're not really a Tetris girl, are you? No. Tetris is not made for just women only. This is your lead-in to get Dr. Bob. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were making the joke about no. how like everybody says it's for women. Yeah, ready? Okay, yeah. Sorry.
Sorry. Swing it a bit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, 